Emperor, A New Life of Charles V by um, Geoffrey Parker. <laughs> I know there's like two or three ways of saying this, but yeah. So you get four parts. So Young Charles, Game of Thrones, um, Young Charles chapters one to three, Game of Thrones four to eight. Um, part three, Ruler from the Rising to the Setting Sun, chapters 9 to 13. Part four, Downfall, chapters 14 to 17, and an epilogue. Um, in parts one to three, you do get, like, a portrait, um, of him, uh, but it's not an image, but more of a writing. It's like an extra, pretty much like an extra type of chapter, but, um, he's calling it a portrait. <laughs> um... So you get um, a few appendices, um, chronolog chronology, oh my goodness, <laughs> um, abbreviations in um, the notes and sources, um, so a note on dates and quotes um, and sources, um, list of maps, figures, and plates. So you get a whole bunch of like random other stuff <laughs> at the end. So uh, it starts with how his family came into power. So it sets up for his life. Um, you are getting a pretty much in-depth biography. <laughs> it is a really hefty book. So you are getting a number of primary sources and quotes um, that are merged into the author's writing. You are getting a few maps scattered throughout. Um, coming to rule relationship with other countries and like other people, war, explorations like in Mexico and Latin America, um, marriage, and have a lot of other, a few other topics as well. Um, you get, th the appendices are like pretty much three appendices from his memoirs. Um, so you are getting a wide range of different things, um, within the text and when the text has concluded. So anyone who does like the royalty, the, um, Charles V in general, um, but, yeah, it's, a, like, if you are really wanting to, um, have a meaty type of history book and biography, this one would be a good one to have a pick up and look at. So, yeah, Emperor, A New Life of Charles V. Happy readings.